What makes the pediatric dentistry program at Boston University unique, I believe, is the exposure to different clinical environments. Uh, we have four clinics where our uh, residents practice. We have the school based clinic or treatment center which is at Boston University Dental School and we have two hospital based uh, clinics as well and the other clinic is uh, this community clinic that is Boston neighbor Neighborhood Healthcare Center. We have four different sites here. Uh, during the pediatric dental residency, you rotate every three months. And so you're in small groups at each of the sites. And I think that just builds a lot of teamwork and camaraderie. So all of the students who join our department do uh, complete the research training component, whether they are in the clinical training program or if they are in the master's or the doctoral program. I, coming from a background with no research, uh, Dr. Shamugam has been super helpful in going very slow with me and helping me every step of the way because I honestly don't really know very much about research. I didn't have that experience in my undergrad or my dental uh, education. So I think having her as a mentor and going very slowly, very step by step, very thorough is very helpful. We make it a point for the, as part of the training to make the students realize how important understanding research evidence and taking the message from that evidence and applying it to clinical uh, practice. Materials evolve, patient care evolves, and I think following up with research and making sure that you are given the most accurate, most new information, I think that will help your standard of care absolutely with your patients. The didactic portion of the program is pretty stringent and rigorous. That being said, we do need baseline knowledge. We need a foundational curriculum, and I think our program does a really great job. The combination of both rigorous didactics as well as uh, diverse and um, broad-based clinical experiences definitely will provide our residents to be able to go out and either they can choose to do to practice pediatric dentistry in private practices in uh, federally qualified uh, community health center in academic settings. I believe that advocacy is a core um, requirement for the training of the pediatric dental residents. My parents were refugees. They uh, arrived in Canada um, in the 70s and they went through a really hard time and didn't have access to care. And they've instilled in myself and my two sisters the importance of giving back to the community that doesn't have access or doesn't have the resources to obtain care. Uh, there are certain uh, groups of children that unfortunately do not have voice. And so the pediatric dentist becomes their voice. So we train our residents, first of all, to engage with the patients uh, and the families, to understand the issues, to understand the social determinants of health uh, and oral disease, and to provide support, not only to focus on teeth, but on well-being in general. It's really important I see patients all the time that come in and they have a mouthful of cavities and you just, you feel for those parents because those parents have multiple kids to take care of, they work two jobs, they don't really have the time and effort to put towards oral care. I think that's where we step in and it's really important as pediatric judges for us to do that. Our chair and other faculty members aim to always improve. This is something that is a very uh, uh, a big plus point in this department. We're not satisfied with where we are today. We are always trying to improve, make our program better, and we always ask students for their feedback and we take it seriously and we use that to improve the program. It's a large program, but you don't feel lost in the numbers, you're included in every step of the process and I think that's very important. That's one of the biggest reasons why this program is great. The best pediatric dentistry program 
in the world.